He's not pickleball players. This is Coach Kathy Palacy, and this week we're talking about drills. And um, what I want you to do this week is a series. It's kind. Of, it, it's going to build your patience. It's uh, let's call it the patient builder drill because it's going to be a long sequence. Um, what you're going to focus on is your footwork, uh, keeping the balls low, and purposely placing those shots. Okay. Um, and obviously patience. So what, how you're gonna start out your drill session is you're gonna start out with your V-Dink drill. Okay, remember we've had videos on that before. So each, each player here, you'll have two balls going at one time and each player is going to do the V-Dink. Okay, keep those V's tight. Don't let them get unruly and come out to the edges, okay? Purposely place them tight. And I want you to do that because you're gonna have to focus more. If you're just kind of putting them out there, you're being reactive, you're not really focusing, and I want you to have them nice and tight. When each player has had the opportunity to do their V-dinks, so these guys get to do it also, all right? So each player gets an opportunity to warm up their V-dinks because it's very important as we're building on this drill. All right, now, the next thing we're gonna do is, after that, get some water, get hydrated. Uh, now we're gonna start on our patient building drill. So, we've warmed up our V-dinks. This person's gonna start the drill, okay? They're going to do a V dink to this player, another V. Okay, so two V's. And then they're gonna go cross court to this player, and then they're gonna come here. So 18 inches in, 18 inches from the line, the net, and then I want them to come you know, mid, mid kitchen, right about there. Okay, I don't want it over here too much, but I want it here, okay? So, do that segment twice, sequence twice. Now, after that second sequence of this, now this person's gonna start the V, okay? So, let's see. She's gonna start the V here. And then after she does the V twice here, she's gonna bring it here, here, and then we're gonna bring it, toss it here. Now this person's gonna do the V twice. Then they're gonna cross court, cross court, cross court, cross court. Then he's gonna pick up the V and do the V. Okay, so each player gets the opportunity to go ahead and do the sequence, okay? So it's quite easy. It's V-dink twice, then cross court, cross court. So it's cross court to the outside, cross court to the center twice. And then she's gonna bring it back here and this person's gonna start it, okay? All four players, if you can do it with all four players going around without stopping, think of how many shots you've done, right? And you've purposely placed them, you didn't pop them up, you were focused, so we're building those brain skills with this drill. We're also using our footwork, okay? Getting back into position. You don't just come here and stay there. You hit your ball and then come back, okay? Now, after you've gotten that sequence done, all of you have gotten it perfected, now we're going to put it into a game. Okay, now after we do this, our next building block on it is to go ahead and do the serve and the returns. All right, so the person here is gonna serve they're gonna return it. These guys are gonna drop shot it. 
wherever that drop shot ends, that's the person who does the V, who starts their V, patience, perfection, drill, okay? So we're incorporating that play into your, your rallies. We want to incorporate all of these different plays. We don't want to just do a drill and not use them in our game, okay? So that's a play that I want you to start incorporating into your game. So after you do that, you go ahead and do it again. And you keep going until you can perfect it, keep those balls low, put them where you want them to go, and um, have really long super rallies, okay? Uh, go out there, have some fun today, and um, check out our website for other drills. Oh, crap. I just, I just got purple on me. Check out other um, drills that we have on our website and start practicing them. But do this for this week. I want you to get that in your muscle memory, in your head, so that way you don't have to think about it anymore. When you and your partner are out there on, playing a game, you'll know exactly what you guys are doing right? All right. Have some fun. Um, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.